through the process of sanitizing the hybrid bulk syrup container to be later filled with new syrup. You will learn how to transfer syrup from the near empty tank number one on the right to a near full tank number two on the left to be used for the supply with the marked hoses. Finally, you will use the sanitizing panel and its respective hoses to sanitize tank number one with the marked hoses. Inspect the site tube on tank number one and confirm that it is near empty. You will see the level of remaining syrup at the bottom of the site tube. It Disconnect the supply hose from the near empty tank number one and set aside. Remove the dust cap from the syrup fill fitting on tank number two. Grab the jumper hose hanging on the panel. Remove the dust cap from the three-quarter inch jumper hose connector, the larger of the two, and connect it to the syrup fill fitting at the top of the tank number two. Connect the vent line to the pressure fitting, also on top of tank number two. Remove the dust cap from the half-inch connector of the jumper hose, the smaller of the two, and connect it to the supply fitting on the bottom of the tank number one. After you connect the jumper hose, all the remaining syrup from tank number one will automatically begin to flow into the tank number two. Wait until all the remaining syrup in tank number one transfers to tank number two. Once tank number one is completely empty, disconnect the pressure line from the pressure fitting on top of the tank. Disconnect the larger jumper hose connector from the syrup fill fitting on the top of Attach the dust cap to the syrup fill fitting on the top of tank number two. Disconnect the vent line from pressure fitting on the top of tank number two. Connect the supply line to the supply fitting on the bottom of tank number two. Connect the pressure line to pressure fitting on top of tank number two. Tank number two is now supplying syrup to the dispensers. You can now begin sanitizing tank number one. To sanitize tank number one, first connect the vent line to the pressure fitting on top of tank number one to vent all the remaining CO2 out of the tank. You will hear the CO2 leaving the tank. Wait for depressurizing tank number one to finish. Once that is completed, disconnect the vent line from the top of tank number one. Connect the smaller stainless steel sanitized line connector to the pressure fitting on top of tank number one. Remove the dust caps from the connector and the syrup fill fitting on top of tank number one. Connect the larger brass sanitized line connector to syrup fill fitting on top of tank number one. Grab the drain hose hanging from the CIP panel and connect the male drain hose fitting to the large jumper hose connector, already connected to the supply fitting on the bottom of tank number one. Run the other end of the drain line to the floor drain nearby. Grab the sanitizer container, fill the container with warm water up to the fill line, then add the appropriate amount of sanitizer solution per the instructions placard on the syrup tank. Close the container and shake the solution for about one minute or until the sanitizer is dissolved. Attack On the CIP panel, turn the key to on position to start the sanitizing cycle. You can see the red light on the panel is flashing and the sanitizer going through the lines. 
it takes almost 23 minutes to complete the sanitizing cycle. During the purging or sanitizing cycle, if there's no flashing light or sound, please contact the support team. Once the Press and hold the manual CO2 purge button for 15 seconds or until there is no discharge down the drain line to clear the lines and tank from sanitizer solution. Disconnect the large brass sanitized line connector from the syrup fill fitting on top of tank number 1 and attach the dust cap. Disconnect the smaller 2 pin sanitized line connector from the pressure fitting on top of tank number 1. Attach the dust cap to the syrup fill fitting on top of tank number 1. Disconnect the smaller stainless steel jumper hose from the supply fitting on bottom of tank number 1. Confirm that tank number 1 is empty by pressing in on the tip of the supply fitting on the bottom of the tank to confirm that all liquid has been empty. Attach the dust cap to the supply fitting on the bottom of tank number 1. Disconnect the larger 3 quarter inch jumper hose can Coil and hang the jumper hose on the panel. Remove the drain line from the drain and place it back on the CIP panel. Write down your initial end date on the empty tank. You have successfully finished the module.